I was trained as, uh, as you said, sort of as an electromechanical engineer and roboticist, actually. And when I came to Stanford, I was, you know, I was studying engineering, not product design. There was a product design major and there was also a master's program. Um, and when I got to IDEO, I was an engineer. I was not uh, one of the designers. The designers were sort of typically doing uh, industrial design. And then we added human factors and interaction design. In fact, the term and the concept of interaction design was pioneered by Bill Moggridge, who was at IDEO at the time and who I worked very closely with. And there was this sort of sense um, that you were kind of either an engineer or a designer or a kind of an anthropologist or kind of an ethnographer or human factors person. But what was so cool about IDEO and, and this sort of became, I don't know, a sort of a term of art uh, for a while, this concept of these T-shaped people where you had this depth in one domain, um, but then you, that was the sort of the, you know, the vertical part of the T, but then you had this horizontal sort of respect and admiration for these other disciplines. And so you could kind of put a bunch of T-shaped people together who, who had depths in different areas. And then you would just make these just incredibly gifted teams that could sort of think and, and cross-pollinate uh, to other areas. And so as I think about myself as a product designer, I don't think that I uh, was strictly an engineer or strictly a person who was sort of thinking about human interface or interaction design. I sort of brought all that together. And I think in many ways, that's still how I see the world. I think the most interesting products and services are really usually living at the intersections between disciplines at the seams. And it's the individuals who can kind of take an idea for one area and bring it over to another that really unlocks some new user interface or some new approach or metaphor to how you use the product. And I see this over and over again. We saw this at IDEO. I've seen this in my venture career. Some of my most interesting companies are ones that really are kind of a combination of synthetic biology and large data or uh, semiconductors and systems with uh, compiler theory. And you know, even our crypto investments, I sort of feel like are at the intersection of uh, enterprise infrastructure and next generation applications. So um, I really do believe in this concept of great products living in that kind of space in between or at the intersection of multiple disciplines.